Hi everybody. Um, I hope you're all staying at home like everybody is telling us to. Um, we still miss you all. This studio is very quiet and lonely and it does not like to be quiet and lonely. So just wanted to let you know that we miss you and are looking forward to the day when we can all safely come back to the studio. So in the meantime, I have another lesson for you guys today. Today we're going to talk about portraits. So um, portraits, just um, the art term for an artwork of a person. Like a self-portrait is a drawing of yourself or an artwork of yourself, um, and a portrait is of somebody else. Today, all I'm going to talk about is facial proportions. So as we get a little further on in these series, I'll talk about some drawing exercises that you can do at home to improve your drawing skills. But you know, there is no secret to drawing. There's no secret other than having a really big eraser. Um, and a lot of it is just learning to trust your skills of observation. But in the very beginning, there are some tricks you can kind of learn to speed it along. So one of those things is facial proportions. So this ties in a little math. So parents at home, if you're looking for interesting ways to talk about fractions and apply it in sort of like a real world setting, this is a great exercise for that. So basically we're gonna divide the face into separate portions and then each section has like a, like a different thing. So bear with me, we're gonna start with like the very beginning and kids, parents, whoever is doing this at home, just trust me when I say what it is that I'm saying because along the way you're gonna be like, what? No, that can't be true, that's not true, I don't believe you. So just follow along if you wanna do it with me, that's okay too if you wanna watch the whole video and then do it. But trust me, there's some things that you're not gonna believe and then they're gonna turn out just fine, so bear with me. So the first thing we do when we are drawing a face is we draw an upside down egg on the paper. If you are struggling with an upside down egg, just like draw an egg and then like turn it upside down, right? Again, just like I said last time, you're, you need a pencil. I'm actually gonna do this in pencil first because I anticipate having to erase a lot even while I'm doing this in front of you guys. Um, and then I'll go over it with marker so you can see what it is that I'm doing. So keep a light pencil. You're gonna have to erase a lot. Just again, already set your mind to knowing that you're gonna have to erase a lot and that is okay. That's part of being a good artist is being okay with doing something incorrectly the first time around or like the first 10 times around. So I'm gonna draw my upside down egg, really light on my paper, really, really light. I don't anticipate getting it right the first time. So, okay. There's that. Okay, so I've drawn it in pencil. It's really difficult to see on this white paper. Like, you see my super light lines. Now, I'm going to take my marker. You should not be using marker at this juncture. Just so you can see what I've done here. Uh, it's still going to be kind of sketchy because... And I don't trust myself to draw a perfectly straight line like in one go. So here we are, our upside down egg. So when we're drawing faces, we are drawing from here, the crown of your head to your chin. That's what I'm drawing today, the crown of my head to my chin. And I'm gonna divide up the face for you. You're gonna need a straight edge too. Again, you can just use another sheet of paper. We do have rulers here at Color Me Empowered. I just can't find them, so I'm sure that they exist. If you have a ruler, that's also really handy. You don't have to use a like a scrap of wood that you found laying around. But I mean, it, that's cool. Like that, that works for you. You can do that. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a vertical line, and vertical is straight up and down. This is vertical. Like we talked about the horizon line last time. This is horizontal, like the horizon line, like that's how I remember it. So vertical, straight up and down. Her horizontal is flat, like the horizon line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a vertical line through my face, right through here, okay? 
are, I guess, in the middle of my upside down egg. Okay, that's my first line. I'm gonna go over it with marker for you. Okay, you'll erase these lines later, okay? So, just a line straight through the middle. Now I'm gonna draw a horizontal line also straight through the middle of my head. And it can be an approximate middle, we're not, we don't do anything exact around here. Okay, mm, that's not exactly right. I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, there, that's a little better. Okay, like that, like a bullseye on top of an egg. Now, I'm gonna divide up this face for you a little bit more, and then we'll get to drawing the actual features. So, this line right here, this is the part you're not gonna believe. This line in the middle of your face is where your eyes go. You're gonna draw your eyes on this line because we're drawing, remember, from here to here. So you're not drawing from here to here, you're drawing from here to here. And as such, your eyeballs actually go in the middle of your head, okay? So the eyes go right here. I know you don't believe me right now, but it's true because like this much of your face is gonna be here. So I'm gonna divide this up again. This, halfway in between this section, right? So this top section, I'm gonna divide that in half again and draw another line. And again, all these guidelines you're gonna erase later. They're just there to help you remember where everything goes. And then I'm gonna draw another line halfway in like this bottom section, halfway between my eyes and my chin. So, like this. Okay, so when I'm doing this with kids, I always label where things go. And always, universally, 80% of everybody that I'm working with doesn't believe that the eyes go in the middle of the head. But please bear with me because they really do go in the middle of the head. Okay, eyes here. This is like at the top, the top line is right where your hairline starts. And the bottom line here is like your nose and mouth area. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so see here, it's your hair, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Now, what I'm gonna start with is the eyeballs. So what's kind of cool about our face is that we can use other parts of our face to gauge whether what we're drawing is in proportion. So your eyeballs are typically one of your eyeballs away from each other. So like the distance in between your eyeballs is usually like one eyeball, right? So when I am drawing my eyes on my paper, the first thing I do, the very first thing I do is draw an eye, like a football shape, right smack dab in the middle of my paper. So, right like this, draw an eye. So just think of it as like a curve on the bottom and a curve on the top, you see there? but I'm gonna erase that line in a little while. That's just my guide for how far apart my eyes should be. So I'm gonna draw two more eyes exactly the same size. And just do like a curve at the top, like a football, and a curve at the bottom. This is not complicated. Everybody can do this. And if you're keeping a light pencil, even if you don't do it right the first time, you can erase it and do it over again. So what's so awesome about pencils? Okay, so look what I have here. I've got three eyes. Do you see that? I'm gonna erase the middle one. Okay, that's gone. So now your eyes are the correct distance apart. Do you see that? I'm gonna go over that with marker.
just like that. Now I'm gonna do the hair. So again, we're drawing from here, from the top of our head to the chin. So like this chunk right here is hair. So right on this hairline is where I start drawing my hairline, which curves down. Most people's hairline just like curves down. If you have a widow, widow's peak, you can kind of like go like that, but totally up to you right there. So I'm gonna draw long hair on my person, okay? You can draw long hair, you can draw short hair, you can draw spiky hair, it doesn't matter. What you need to do though is make sure that it starts at the hairline that we drew in the very beginning. Okay, I've done it in pencil. I'm gonna go over it with marker so you can see just really, really quick. I mean, this is kind of crazy here, but like for our purposes, this is just fine, right? Okay, so you see, I can see, like I'm drawing from here to here, so I, like I wanna be able to see that hair on my paper. There it is. Okay, now, the nose and the mouth. The way I do the nose and the mouth is I start with like two little bubbles that you fill in. Like when you're taking a test, you know, you fill in those little multiple choice answers and they're kind of an oval shape. So on either side of the nose line, just below the nose line, I'm gonna draw my two little like standardized test bubbles and just fill them in. Now, obviously the size and shape of everybody's nostril is a little bit different but for what we're doing today, we're just trying to get down like the correct facial proportions and I'll explain how like this exercise, you build upon it. Okay, so I've drawn these two little, see, like multiple choice bubbles, like anybody can do it. If you've ever taken a multiple choice test, you can do it. Now, here's the cool part. So I'm about to draw the edges of the nose. So I'm about to draw like right here. Here's what I do. And then like this nose bone right here turns into where your eyebrows are. So we're just gonna be like, like, <clears throat> just gonna draw lines on either side of our nostrils, I'm about to show you, and then they're gonna curve up over our eye sockets and turn into our eyebrows. So <clears throat> I do one line, I start it like right here underneath the nostril, and I draw up and over, it gets skinny, like right in between your eyes, like that's the narrowest part of your nose is right in between your eyes. So that's where it's gonna get skinniest. Okay, and then I do the other side. Okay, here's what I've done just very quickly. You can see that there. Um, now I'm gonna add some detail to it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my eyebrows to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go over it with marker so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now, I when I'm drawing my mouth, because our nose and mouth are so close together, but we have like a little shadow right here, right? This little dip in our lip. So I draw this little shadow on, like in between my nose and my mouth to make sure that the nose and the mouth are about the right distance apart. So 
I'm just gonna draw that little shadow on my lip. A, like for a face this big, which is about life size, like a little less than an inch. Now, let's talk about our mouth. Typically, our mouth is as wide, like when it's like this, see, when you're not talking or smiling, it's as wide as the middle of our eyeballs. So like, if you take two lines and you draw two lines straight down from the middle of your eyeballs, they're gonna come to the corner of your mouth, right? Like that's how wide our mouth should be. So when, I'm, when we're doing this in the classroom or you're doing this at home, you just do that. You just draw two pencil lines straight down from the middle of the eyeballs and that is proportionally about how big a mouth is. Like obviously in real life they're a little bit bigger, smaller sometimes, not always. Okay, so these, you can see these two lines, that's what I've drawn. Now, I'm gonna start my mouth like the top of a heart. So think of like the mouth like, like if it was a heart that you like smushed down and then it had corners. That's how I think of drawing a mouth. So I'm gonna draw it as wide as those two lines I just drew. Then I'm gonna draw the bottom part which is just a curve and then like the middle, I just draw a line through the middle. It's the easiest part. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm gonna go over this with marker. Now, if you wanna add ears, the ears are the like super easy part. Typically your ears are as big as like from your eye right here. That's where the top of your ear starts to your mouth right here. That's typically where the bottom of your ear is. So this section right here, your ear is usually about that wide. So you just draw like, like think of it as like a letter C and a backwards letter C right here in this section. I'm gonna do it in permanent marker so you can see it. Now that's kind of hard to see, like that and like that. Then if you wanna just like add some detail, I just usually add like a squiggly line in it. Just like that, you can see. Okay, now. So this is basic facial proportions, what we've just done. What then I do is I go back, after I've gotten all of the features in the right place, I go back and then I add details. So for this, if you're at home, you can use a mirror, like you can use your own face, or you can use a photograph or a picture of somebody else's face. However you wanna do it is fine. I find drawing from real life, like, uh, like looking at what it is that you're drawing, is a much better way of drawing than trying to draw anything from memory. There's very few of us that can draw from our head. Like we usually have to have something in front of us, a photograph, some, like a picture of something in order to be able to get it right. So um, I'm going to erase the lines that I can't erase and I'm going to add some details to just my eyes to make this face look a little more realistic. But this is about all the detail that I'm going to add. If you're at home, you can, um, you can really dive into this and start really looking at the face and breaking down the features and 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 observing and and drawing right so just practicing that looking at what you're drawing um trying to draw it erasing it like this is this is how we learn to draw it's a lot of mistake making so if you're at home like this is the perfect time to draw because we've all got like plenty of time on our hands so um, the first thing I do when I draw an eye is I draw like, like a circle, but not a full circle because you usually can't see like, unless I'm going like that, you can't see the full circle on my eyeball. So I guess it's like an interrupted circle is what I would call it. So like this, just like that. And then right in the center, I put the black dot. What is that? The iris? I can't, I can't think right now. Okay, just like that. 
okay? And then I add the, you know, like the pretty stuff around it. So I just do that by adding lines. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one too. Okay, and you can add some eyelashes. I'm gonna go over this with marker too, so you guys can see it pretty good. Just draw like little, like little curved lines on either side of the eyelid. Okay, so let me go over this with marker. Okay, it's really hard to get good detail with this fat Sharpie, but. Okay, so my person looks a little crazy because I've drawn eyes with a Sharpie, but that's okay. I just want you guys to kind of see what I'm going for here. So you can do this at home with your pencil. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is my crazy person. So. So I've drawn these lines around like the little dot in the middle and then you can see that you can see that the the eyelashes that have gone and done. So you can add to this. Again, this is a little better with your pencil, but you can also start to add like details to the face, like highlights and shadows, looking like either looking in the mirror or looking from a picture. Um any of this is like perfectly acceptable to you. You can do one or both or all of them, but before you start filling in the details of anybody's face, the first thing you need to do is just focus on the facial proportions. So that means like dividing the face up into, into uh, sections so you know where everything goes. And then once you have all that in place, then you can go back and you can start adding the details and you can start working on your on your drawing skills but in the very beginning you just have to get everything exactly right and where it's supposed to go and you can go from there and as always if you guys have questions or you get stuck or something is a problem reach out to me because we are around even though you guys aren't here so I hope you guys enjoy this one and I hope to see you sooner than later